Hello and welcome back here. Today I want to talk about can you eat fruit while you follow a ketogenic or a low carb lifestyle or in general when you are trying to lose weight. This video is mainly for middle age or older people because your metabolism getting slower and slower and there is certain things you need to pay attention to if you want to lose weight after 30 plus or 40 plus or 50 plus. This video is going to be very useful for ladies who are struggling with weight loss. You try different diets before, nothing really worked to get rid of that extra weight that you gained after pregnancies or going through menopause. So this video is absolutely for you if you are in that shoe. My name is Yvette if you are new here and I am a certified weight loss coach and a Dr. Eric Berg certified ketogenic and intermittent fasting coach. I help people middle age or older to lose stubborn fat or stubborn belly fat. Generally they accumulated this extra weight or stubborn fat while they were building their careers or went through menopause or had a couple of pregnancies. Actually fruits have a great impact on your weight loss and they actually can stop your weight loss for weeks if you don't do this correctly. So I really want you to pay attention for the next few minutes so you really understand how you can be more successful. Fructose that's in fruits actually can create in itself insulin resistance can make a non-alcoholic fatty liver and actually creates bigger insulin spikes brings your blood sugar higher than actually glucose that is sugar. The truth is that 100 years ago many fruits were very different compared to today. Some of them you wouldn't even recognize and actually what happened that they made fruit sweeter than it should be and actually they cultivated it and today it's just really really sweet. An average apple and every size of apple has about 18 gram of sugar in it. So basically when you eat that apple, it turns into about 18 gram of sugar in your body. Many people think that eating fruits are actually very healthy. They also get very surprised when I tell them that actually fruits are not helping your weight loss and actually they can prevent weight loss for a very long time. They usually don't have this information and they don't understand why. So now I will explain this on a very simple and practical way. Also fructose gets metabolized only by the liver. Why do I say that? When you eat carbs, carbohydrates, let's say you eat a bag of chips, this is a lot of carbs. That's being metabolized by your entire body, it's not only metabolized by your liver, it's being metabolized by your liver and by your cells in your body. So you're breaking that down faster. But when you eat fruits, fructose is a type of sugar that being metabolized 100% by your liver. Meaning if you eat that apple that's about 18 gram of sugar, that 100% has to be metabolized and processed by your liver and you will be out of fat burning until your liver is actually able to get rid of that 18 gram of sugar and this will take a while. And that's the reason I advise that you don't consume any fruits while you are trying to lose weight because just one apple with 18 gram of sugar will create the effect that you will be not able to burn any fat for about three to four days or even longer, depends on your age, your metabolism and your general health and your liver health. And actually, if you keep up with that, that every three, four days you consume fruit, you will just find yourself in the exact same spot or worse just before you started. So there is absolutely no point to ruin your efforts with fruits. With that said, I have a good news. There are seven fruits that you can actually consume while you are losing weight and this will not stop your fat burning. The first one is avocado. I know this is very surprising because generally we think avocado is a vegetable, but actually avocado is a fruit and one bigger avocado actually gives you about 30 
30 gram of fat and that's really good because it keeps you full longer so you definitely will be able to go longer without eating or overeating avocado has about 875 gram of potassium and this is quite a lot and actually this helps you to reduce cravings and improve your insulin resistance because potassium has those benefits. The next one is coconut. Coconut is very low carb and it's really good for a low carb lifestyle or a ketogenic lifestyle. And actually I am talking about the coconut flakes, not the coconut water. Coconut water would be highly dense in carbs and you don't want to drink that, but you can definitely go for the meat, the coconut flakes itself. The next one is lemon. Lemon is great to keep your body hydrated and actually just a little bit of lemon in your water will be a great electrolyte and you feel just more hydrated. It will reduce your hunger and cravings. And if you are prone to stones, meaning forming kidney stones, then it's actually really good to prevent kidney stones. So it's definitely something that is advised on a low carb or a keto lifestyle. And number four is tomato. Tomato is actually a fruit, not a vegetable, and it's pretty low in carbs, so I would say it's safe to consume. The next one is more like a fruit group, and these are berries. Berries are totally okay to consume on low carb or on a ketogenic lifestyle, and they are actually really low in carbs. You can go half a cup or one cup a day, and you most probably will be fine on your weight loss. The next one is pomegranate seeds, and they are actually great in small amounts. Just do the seeds, not the juice, and you will be fine. And number seven is star fruit. Star fruit isn't so sweet. It's pretty low on the glycemic index and in smaller amounts would be safe to consume on a low carb or ketogenic lifestyle. However, now I will give you another piece of the information to actually make the right judgment for your body type if you should or shouldn't you consume fruits why you are trying to lose weight. And people who have actually issues or troubles with their weight loss or with stubborn belly fat or stubborn fat in general have a problem with insulin in their body and as much problem you have as strict as you have to be. The reason is because you have to actually manage and help your body to keep insulin low in order to get rid of that stubborn fat. I cover this in a lot more details in my free webinar. So if you love this video, then definitely check that out and I am sure you will love that as well. If you are doing well on your lifestyle and actually you are losing weight, you are getting smaller on your waistline, meaning you are losing inches and centimeters, I don't think you have to worry so much about your fruit intake. But if you really have a struggle, you really have a history of stubborn weight issues, you want to cut all the carbs as much as possible and actually force your body to go lower on insulin and tap into your reserves. However, I want to give you hope if you love fruits, not all hope loss, once you actually achieve your health and weight loss goals, you will be able to add back fruits into your diet or lifestyle, not maybe every day, but several times during the week in smaller portions. That's totally possible once you actually reach your goal weight and health goals. When this happens, you want to add back low glycemic index fruits just like the seven of them I mentioned before and you might be able to add some cantaloupes or watermelon as well into your lifestyle small amounts here and there and yes that's right actually cantaloupes and watermelon are low on the glycemic load meaning they don't impact your blood sugar that much so you actually could consume them and actually cantaloupes are better than watermelons but in small amounts. Just keep in mind that you can very easily overdo them 
And if you have a really bad habit or history on your sugar intake or on your sugar control, then I would say stay away from it because some people just get a very little amount of carbs or sugar and they go crazy and they can't really control it anymore. And some people can still have very little bit and they do just fine. It's really personal, but just do what actually works for you that works for your personal weight loss goals. As a side note, I want to mention this. If you are younger and you are watching this video or you are watching my videos, I want to say that because you are younger, your metabolism is much faster and actually you can probably consume more fruits than someone who is middle-aged or up because their metabolism is much slower than yours. So if you are younger, I think you can get away with even cantaloupes or watermelon, but if you want to get faster results and actually lose weight quicker, then you don't want to consume them in order to get to your goals faster. But I don't think it would stop you as much or slow you down as much compared to someone who is actually middle-aged with a slower metabolism. As a good news, just to give something positive in this video, just kidding, I want to tell you that I generally share quite a lot of delicious treats, dessert, and meal ideas on the different platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and if you want to learn how to actually make delicious meals so you don't feel deprived or you don't feel you miss out on something, then definitely follow me and check it out. I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button. Don't forget to comment and share your ideas with me and share this video with your friends and family and anyone who needs this to successfully lose weight. And see you guys in my next video. Bye bye guys.